Yeah, pretty good. What's your name, mate? Willow. Willow? Yeah. And where are you from? Uh, Malabar. Yeah, Justin. And Rory. Rory. And Sam. And where do you work? From Hutchison Port. In Sydney? Yeah, in Port Botany. I'm Glenn from uh, Sydney, Patrick to Port Botany. I got through the second heat, so I must have done something right. Yeah. <laughs> and how long have you been working there for? Mate, fresh. Only a year, so it's good to get up here. And so this is the first time you've competed in working weight? Yeah, first one. Won't be the last. I've turned to the dark side actually, Ash, I've uh, got the paddle boards going, so you know when it's waves like this. Well, our <laughs> National Secretary is also a fan of the paddle Well, board. he's a good bloke then, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with National Secretary Paddy Crumlin, who's come down to the 20th anniversary of Working Waves. How are you going, Paddy? Chilled out. Chilled out. Aloha. And this is your first Working Waves? No, no, I was here 20 years ago. It was Sean's idea and... Uh, well, he was a union official in those days. Well, we're all surfers first and foremost, and we're members of the best union that there is, secondly. And you come out on a sunny day, have a beer and a barbecue, so it's a fair sort of a formula to have a successful day, and that's why we've got to 20 years. I was working for the union at the time, and a seafaring member come and see me. He said, mate, we should have a surfing comp. And I said, mate, that's not a bad idea. Happy to put my energy behind it. Come up with the name Working Waves. Come up with the idea that the Maritime Credit Union might throw some sponsorship in and we'd get a t-shirt which we sell on the day and the members wear them out throughout the rest of the year and you see them at rallies and it just grew from there. Okay, 20th anniversary. That's the original, that was the first year. 19, when was it? 1996. 20 years ago, I tried it on but it was just a little bit tight. Uh, this would be my 20th year. I was fortunate enough to come down for the first competition and uh, I thought what a great concept and I've basically uh, been to pretty well everyone since. In many respects it's not about the surfing, it's about people coming together, members right across all of the areas and building friendships and they're friendships that have lasted a lifetime or lasted the 20 years and, and will last a lifetime. It's just something I love and I, I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't surf, I love the water, that's half the reason I probably became a seafarer, to go to sea and be a part of the ocean. In the past we've had guys from Queensland, we've got a guy from South Australia this year, which is fantastic. It shows that uh, the camaraderie is uh, working right through the country and uh, look, it's a perfect day, we couldn't ask for anything better. How do you think you went out there today? One, one alright one, that's about it. <laughs> and what were the conditions like? Not very oh, good. it's not, the water's perfect, a few little fun ones, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's just good fun out there with the boys. Yeah, cool, alright, thank you. Thanks Ricky. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I come most years, so I um, just a first round knockout every year, but happy to be in the water and have a go. We're in charge of uh, timekeeping, aren't we, Comrade, yeah. Comrade Press? Possibly the best timekeepers we've ever produced down here, Jason and myself. And shirts. Too. And shirts. <laughs> What do you think of the turnout today? Good, there's these blokes, they're hungry, you can see they want to win. That's the thing, they don't come here to lose these fellas. And there's guys from the offshore, I'm back in the, some blokes from DP World and Patrick's. There's some blue water guys, there's guys from all over. So it's a real family turnout, MUA family turnout, that's what it's all about. And so Sean Chaff has been organising this event for a Oh, he's done an unbelievable job. 20 years, the chef, you know, and he just doesn't come here for the sausage sandwiches and the milkshakes, the big fella and the beer. Comes here because he believes that if you get people together socially and you get them together on the job and you get them together politically and industrially, he's a giant of a bloke, fantastic bloke. And this is really, after 20 years, this is the chef's day. Well, I'm coming a bit closer to everybody, please. The bloke that used to come up every year is Mark Holland, Mark's here. We'll remember Mark Holland today in the Rockhead Relay. Mark unfortunately left this world way too early. Bit of a focus, I've got the FTW letters on here today and that's work that a friend does through his clothing label to break down the barriers of suicide prevention. Mark's nickname was uh, Rockhead and we implemented the Rockhead Relay to run in his honour. So ladies and gentlemen, can you put your hands together for the Holland family please? There's, uh, the Rockhead Relay is a runner, a swimmer, a board paddler, 
we'll kick off with put your hands together for Bones. Won this event a few times, won the uh, Rockhead Relay a few times. Uh, you're missing Pete Meyer. I know this event is important to you. Mate, you're a bit under the weather. You're going to be sweet. Lifeguards are here. Save me. All right. Now, who's in? Mate, don't breathe on me. Ah. Thanks very much, and thanks for looking after that trophy. I gave Peter Meyer 50 bucks to get it fixed and has come back with the arm missing off it. I'd like to congratulate the Wolfies, actually. I've got three surfboards and all sorts of prizes over there, and it hasn't been stolen yet, so that's very well done. Doggy now, Kane Doggy, you're scared of sharks. Oh, now, there's been a few sharks around lately. <laughs> Mate, are you all right today? I should be okay. I said a stingray earlier, but I, I, I toughed it out. All right, who's in your team? We've got Kane Hay, and we've got to ring in Hasselhoff, Adam Lee. Adam Lee, well fair him. Adam's found the weight that Kane Hayes lost, so uh, there you go, you should be alright. So, what's happened there? You don't look like in those Instagram photos you're putting up of yourself, Ads. John Fox, where's John Fox? Luke Dyer, come up here. All the captains come up here, you'll get a grilling. Fox man, Ningaloo Vision, who's in your side? Oh, we've got Crowded House, he's back. Well, we've got no hope. I'll, leave, I'll let you off the hook there, Fox man. Pineapple, good to see you back here. Who's in your side? How do you fancy yourselves? Mate, I'd just like to uh, put everyone put your hands together for two young blokes to come all the way from South Australia for the day. All right. Uh, Luke Dyer, one of the uh, good-looking men of the waterfront. Jeez, you, you've aged all right. <laughs> Here we go. I've got a man crush on you. Is there something wrong with that? <laughs> well, that'll do you, Luke, because that smile, just, you don't have to say anything. Feeding. Once, what was that show you're on TV show? Better Homes and Gardens or something like that? Yeah, auction sport. Who you got on your side? You're at Hutchos uh, these days? Yeah, we've got two uh, Wharfie rookies, in Stephen Alderman and Sam Withel. Right, there you go. A lot of enthusiasm from there, you, uh, Luke. Thanks very much. <laughs> you used to play, no wonder you'd lost your job on TV. Uh, Brad Dunn. Uh, Dunny, how are you going? Good, thanks, mate. Looking forward to this. I've got uh, the mighty John Walton. He's in the sprint. And I've got Chaps, a man, six, our supporter, so he can't wait to cart the trophy home. We expect the big things from John. Says he can run 50 metres full pace, but he might do a hammy. He's finely tuned. Well, he looks like Serena Williams, fair dinkum. <laughs> if he can get those big thighs pumping, you'd be some chance. So uh, good luck there. Well done. What's your name, mate? Chad Scott. Right, oh, thank you. Where, where, where are you from? DP World. DP, well, uh, good luck in your life. Uh, morning of the Earth. Morning of the Earth's come back. You've had a bit of a haircut. Morning, what's doing? Yeah, cut, trimmed a little bit, needed to be, uh, get a bit faster for the board. All right, do you like to go in, you know, competitions, or it's all just a bit too way out for you, you know? You just want to be the cool free surfer. Yeah, I just I just cruise up and down the coast and go surfing, it's all right. I don't actually work for the ferries or do anything, it's cool. Well, you'll probably just stroll around the boy, there you go, so good luck. How are you, brother? What's your name? Luke Hangle. Luke Hangle, where are you from, Luke? Newcastle. Newcastle, where do you work, Luke? I was Port Marine. Was Port Marine going all right? Who's in your side today? Uh, i got Ryan Smith. He's been punted from the uh, Lions crew, so we just picked him up. It's a good little boy. And uh, Brett McPherson. Brett McPherson. Now, Brett was the one that got dusted in his heat. Uh, caught 10 waves and never got scored for one. So that was a fantastic result. So he's just going to ask me, blown up. So, mate, see how you go. Well done. All in memory of Rockhead. Last cab off the rank. Another Newcastle boy. I think you've won this before your team, haven't you? Yeah, we bring it home one, one year, probably two years ago, and then the Sydney boys took it from us, but they're missing their top gun today, so I think it might be our turn again. So there you go. There's all the contestants in the Rockhead Relay. A runner, a swimmer, a board paddler. It's in memory of our great mate, Mark. Mark. He's normally like four. He's normally like a fish. He's six foot six and he can't swim. <laughs> what the f is going on? <laughs> Are you going to get in the water today? Sure am, I brought down the paddle board. 
I'm the hot favourite they reckon because I'm the uh, only one with a paddle board exemption. I'm in the uh, over 40s so I'm a bit handicapped since I'm 60 next week so they expect the young blokes to give me a bit of a paddle contest out there. I was here for the first one 20 years ago. I've since been out of the industry and uh, come back 12 months ago. Yeah, and it's good to be back to see Chaff and obviously always puts on a good, uh, good turnout, good day. And How'd you go out there today? Terrible. Oh, really? I had a couple of good sucked over the falls. Uh, a few three-legged dogs and a Cosimoto. None of those things make any sense to me. No, nothing out there made much sense to me. It was all right. Do you fancy your chances of getting out of the Fancy my chances of being up on the balcony drinking a beer in about 10 minutes. You're the third person to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Hagen and Lukey Dyer, so use a straight up after the Conrad's Cup. for you. Are you a metrosexual? Yes, I am. There you go. There's nothing wrong with landscaping, so manscaping. I am very much metro, mate. But uh, it's not about me, it's about you. You come from Maroubra, you've got to go back down there, and you've got to be able to hold the trophy up amongst those blokes, otherwise they're going to look at you and throw you out of the joint. How do you respond to that? Yeah, that's probably pretty true. Yeah. Put your hands together for brows.